Hello friends, welcome to Lyndon Linthicum United Methodist Church. It is good to see you, even though I don't see you other than to know you're there behind this camera. I am glad to be with you today. I was thinking about how it is that things change, because they do all the time, but something particular I'm noticing in our life together in this church is that We've got a lot of folks that are moving at this particular time. We're kind of in a transient area and that happens often enough and it seems that there are seasons when a number of people who are very dear to us uh, move for a job or for retirement or for whatever reason and move to another community and it's always a great sadness because they're people that we've come to love that have been part of our life together and then what I see is that other folks move in and so we get to meet some new people in worship this week. There were three new folks to us or one who I found out was kind of a returning person, but the other two were people that we hadn't met before. And uh, last week, the week before, there were some other folks we didn't know. It's kind of how it is, isn't it? Uh, there are some folks that are moving on to do something else at a different time in their life and some other folks who become uh, a part of the community in this place. And I, I was remembering a song that we sing to open worship sometimes. The song is called Welcome and the very first line is let's walk together for a while. We walk together for a while and that while might be 20 years or it might be a month. We don't always know exactly how long it's going to be that we walk together with someone in community. This is specifically thinking about us in Christian community to walk together for a while. And sometimes when someone we've been walking with moves away, we think, oh my goodness, how could we possibly do without that person? I'm thinking of Carolyn, our office administrator, who was also our substitute organist, who was so precious to us for over a decade, who moved away to be near her family. Thought, how in the world are we going to do without her? And God provided Anna Lee, who is uh, becoming a precious person in, to us. And as we get, are getting to know her and is providing music and is just a wonderful presence in the life of this faith community. We walk together for a while, and while we're walking together, we learn some things and our eyes are opened. I'm not going to read you anything from it, but I was reading, as I was preparing to talk about this today, the encounter on the Emmaus Road. And it talks about the two disciples who were leaving Jerusalem, who were walking away to Emmaus, and they were talking about what had happened in Jerusalem. And they were talking about what had happened to Jesus specifically, his death and resurrection and all of that. And someone came alongside them and walked with them for a while. Now, if you know the story, you know that eventually they discovered, and not right away, but eventually they discovered that it was Jesus who was walking with them. We don't always know exactly what blessing God is going to provide in the person that walks with us for a while, however long that while might be. But God, I believe, opens our eyes in all of our relationships, especially as we are walking together in the community of faith. God opens our eyes so that we can see things that we wouldn't see otherwise. Sometimes we don't expect it when we meet somebody. We're not sure that that person has anything to teach us, but God always provides a way for that to happen. I invite you to consider your relationships, especially the new ones that you have, people that you are meeting that God is putting into your path in some way. How is it that it might happen that when you walk together with that person, God will open your eyes to see something new and life-giving and wonderful? It will happen. Thanks be to God. Amen.